Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 Multi Window Marketplace uh, Sell As Brand plugin. And in today's video tutorial, I'll be showing you how the customers would be able to see the uh, uh, what we say as the uh, the brand products at the web store that have been added by the uh, different marketplace sellers. Apart from that, we'll also be showing you the seller end where we'll be showing how the sellers uh, would be able to create uh, the uh, brand products from the admin and how they can access uh, the products and can ask the admin uh, for the approval of the brand products so uh, uh, what I'll be doing is I'll just first take you to the uh, front end and let's see how, how this particular uh, uh, sell by sell as brand uh, uh, work and after that I'll show you the seller end and lastly I'll be showing you how the admin can initially make the configurations for making use of this uh, Magento 2 multi vendor sellers brand plugin so for that I'm already here on the uh, uh, on the Magento 2 web store as you can see right now and here I'm uh, at the John store and here I've uh, navigated to a product page of the seller and uh, under this under this particular section here you can see that uh, we have uh, added the brand name and uh, here you can see the brand name is there and the image for the brand so whenever a customer uh, reaches uh, the uh, sellers collection uh, page where he has set up his uh, product uh, the customers can basically uh, view this uh, brand uh, image and the name for the uh, branded product and that way the customers would be able to easily check out their uh, branded product and they can make a uh, order thereafter so uh, now after you have seen that uh, the brand option is uh, here visible here on the product page now let me take you to another uh, seller page here as you can see so here also you can see that uh, we have this uh, the brand image and the name uh, for the product now so uh, basically uh, this plugin would uh, what we say as uh, uh, make it possible for the store owners to create brands and even allow the sellers of the store to create their own brands and this way both the admin and the sellers can exhibit uh, their brands uh, and the customers can browse these brands and the products on a single page so uh, now let me take you to one of the sellers uh, uh, profile page first so uh, basically uh, the uh, tick mark that you uh, can see here uh, basically presents uh, that this uh, particular brand uh, is exclusive and the brand products are exclusively uh, being uh, sold out by this particular seller so like this one that we had uh, Elisa Evercool product so you can see that uh, uh, what we say as the exclusively uh, this brand product is being uh, sold out by the John store and uh, now let me go to the uh, stores uh, uh, what we say as the uh, uh, let me go to the about section uh, within the seller profile so I'll just tap here on the uh, John store and uh, here we are on the John stores uh, about page and uh, here you can see a lot of uh, details out there and and uh, now if I scroll down a bit uh, here you can see that uh, under the about us we have the brands and uh, the uh, brand uh, products are being listed here uh, within this uh, section as you can see and uh, for example if I open any one of the uh, products uh, uh, for the brand that is exclusively being uh, sold out by this particular seller uh, let me take you there and let's see what details are there on that particular uh, product so here we are on the uh, Frankie uh, page and uh, for each of the uh, brands we'll have this individual uh, page as you can see we're in uh, within that uh, uh, brands uh, page you can uh, find all of the products related to that particular brand as you can see here as well so frankie is the brand name and this is the individual uh, uh, what you see as the page for that and we have listed the uh, products for the same brand so the admin can basically uh, create uh, the brands from the admin backend panel for his own uh, products uh, for the uh, brands of there and the sellers can also just create their individual brand uh, pages initially and then add the products to them uh, the products uh, uh, which are uh, basically exclusively sold out uh, uh, by that seller for the brand name so uh, this is one more example of the individual uh, 
uh, brand page as you can see the brand name is Bruno and we have two products within that so you can see the two uh, different products uh, for the brand name that's Bruno you can set it as Lee Cooper uh, maybe uh, any other uh, other brand name like Reebok, Reebok or Nike so according to that you can create the uh, uh, what we say as uh, the brand uh, individual page and then can add the particular products for that particular brand and thus the customers who uh, like that particular brand can directly access that from the uh, sellers uh, about page uh, where the uh, where the uh, where the uh, brand uh, products are being listed so uh, let me show you once again so here we are on the John store now let me scroll down and just uh, below the about us we have all the brands that are uh, are um, for uh, are within uh, this uh, particular seller's uh, store account and uh, you can see that he has added multiple brands and each brand is having different number of products so from here the customer can access the uh, branded product and can navigate uh, to any of the brands as well or just opening that particular one in another window or just opening it here only and then he can reach that individual brand uh, page and can see the products and then he can make a check out with those thereafter so now uh, let me take you to the uh, seller end and uh, let's see what different options are there for the sellers uh, to configure the sell as brand uh, option so i've logged into my account and i'll go to my uh, account panel initially for the seller and on the left hand side under the marketplace uh, dashboard here uh, we have this option uh, that's uh, the brands and under brands on the left hand side you can see that we have brand requests and the general settings so let me open them up uh, one by one so that was uh, general settings and the brand requests so so here you can see that we are on the brand uh, setting and from here the uh, seller would be set up be able to set up the visible brand uh, count so that's the uh, number of products that should be visible uh, this actually it is the uh, what we say as uh, so this is the number of brands that would be visible for that particular seller so here we have the visible brands count so you can set it according to your own requirement there then we have the uh, layout do you want to have it as a carousal as I just displayed you uh, so for that let me take you to the front end once again and uh, I'll take you to there at the front end but before that uh, we'll see another option that we have and lastly we have the display brands and loop whether you want to display them in a loop or continuous uh, line so you can choose it accordingly now for the layout selection we have the carousal and the uh, grid so uh, on uh, the uh, sellers uh, page as you can see here seller profile page so uh, basically here you can see the brand so here are, they are uh, right now listed as in a what we say as a, as a carousal uh, form and if you check this as a grid and we then tap here on the save button so it would basically be uh, shown in a grid uh, style like this uh, that we have so uh, the customers can also access the sellers collection page and can navigate to each of the branded products that are there and they'll see the brand name along with the exclusive uh, icon for the tick mark that is there so uh, now let me take back uh, to the back end so uh, under the brands uh, we had the general settings and we had the brand uh, requests so uh, under the brand requests you can see the complete list of requests that the seller has sent out to the marketplace admin and from here uh, for each of the brand requests the uh, seller can basically view the details as well and the request status let me open that up and uh, to request a brand uh, the seller just taps here on the request brand uh, button that we have and when we edit any of the brands you can see here the brand details and the rest of the details for that are visible here and you can see the brand color as well uh, the description name whether it's exclusive or not and uh, why the brand is exclusive and the status as well so uh, to send a request uh, for a new brand the uh, seller just needs to enter the brand name whether it's exclusive or not why the brand is exclusive some other details the brand description the brand logo brand cover and the meta title keywords and the description thereafter just tap here on the send brand request and that would 
uh, that request would be sent out to the marketplace admin before going to the admin backend panel uh, you can see that uh, the uh, sellers would also be able to set up the uh, brand uh, section or the brand page where all of the uh, brands would be uh, all together displayed to the customers and now uh, let's go to the admin backend panel so I log into my admin backend panel uh, for my Amazon to do web store uh, that's running the Amazon to do multi vendor marketplace by Webcool. So we'll be seeing how the admin would be able to uh, approve the uh, brand request from the customers. So after you successfully install this particular plugin, after login, just navigate to the brand's side panel option here. And from here, the admin can uh, check all of the brands, the brand requests and the brand settings for his own products as well. So for uh, all brands, brand request and brand settings. So after I've completed these three, then we'll go to the initial configuration uh, for this particular plugin itself. So uh, under the all uh, brands, here as you can see under the all brands, all of the uh, brands that the uh, marketplace sellers have created are being uh, reflected here as you can see, along with their visibility, where actually they are visible like on the home page, brand list page and the category. The admin can uh, edit on any of these uh, 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 brands that the sellers have created and can delete them individually and in bulk. To add a new brand, the admin can tap here on the add new brand and that would bring up the section for creating the same. And to add a new brand, just uh, enable the brand, enter the brand name, set it as exclusive, any other details. Choose the visibility of the uh, brands as homepage, brand uh, list page or the category one. L uh, set up the list priority and set up the uh, meta title keywords and the description. Apart from that, for the new brand, you can add the uh, brand description here. Uh, within the editor that you have here so basically you can set up your content and uh, you can add uh, the brand logo and the brand cover from this section and just tap save to create a new brand so that's what uh, was there under the uh, all brands they are listed here and the admin can check the sellers and the admin can add a new brand as well now let's go to the brand requests so here you can see a complete list of uh, all of the brand requests that have been sent out by the marketplace uh, sellers and the admin can tap here on the view link under the actions column to view a particular status for example here we can see that all of them are approved so tapping view would uh, bring up the uh, brand request section for uh, the respective seller for which we have tapped the edit button and then the admin can see the brand request view as you can see here uh, with the request information the seller information uh, the status whether it's approved or not and uh, the brand request information like the uh, attributes and other things for the brand and from here the admin can submit the uh, comment to that particular seller and can uh, check this option to notify the seller as well and, uh, and now let's go back uh, to the complete list of the uh, brand requests and after the uh, approval they will be visible here now let's go to the brand settings uh, these are the initial configuration settings that uh, you need to do under the brands we have the brand settings so uh, here basically uh, for the home page uh, the admin can enable or disable the widget as required he can set up the widget uh, label the uh, layout view as grid or carousal how many brands you want to show at the home page you can choose that up now coming to the brand uh, category page you can set up the include brands in layered navigation so the brand names would be available in the lead navigation as well for the customers so if they filter them out they'll be able to find your brand there brand uh, the display brand name with product so brand name with the product would be enabled if you enable this option then we have the display brand image with product uh, if you want to display the image along with your uh, brand you can enable or toggle this uh, option to the yes then we have the product page whether you want to show brand logo on the product page you can show the brand name and show brand other details as well so you can enable or disable any of the options there then we have the brand showcase page so basically i've shown you the brand uh, showcase page and uh, you can set a new page like the band brand and you can set the uh, layout with view for the particular brand products then you can set how many brands to show per page you can set up the display brand name the uh, description and lastly we have the individual uh, brand uh, page uh, that we uh, access to the seller uh, seller account uh, there 
So we are going to the uh, seller profile and under that we check the individual pages for the for each for, for uh, uh, respective brand and all of them were having their own respective brand products. So for the uh, individual brand uh, page, you just need to enable to appear in search engine pages. So uh, for the individual uh, brand page, you can set up this uh, option to yes, so as to make it appear in the search engine pages as well. You can set up the show brand cover image, brand description, and the brand other details. So after making these uh, configurations, you just need to tap here on the save button and that would save your uh, brand configuration initial settings uh, for this particular module. So uh, that was much about the Magento 2 Marketplace Sellers brand uh, plugin and I hope it helped you out in somewhat understanding how it uh, works. And uh, if you still have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin, then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.